And now we can move on to other stresses. Okay, the next one, removal of NO2. So if we remove if the if we remove some of the NO2 from the reaction, what's going to happen? Well, if some of the NO2 is being removed, then the concentration is lower than what was at the equilibrium. And now it is not at equilibrium, right here. And therefore, to get back to equilibrium, we have to have more NO2. And to have more NO2, how will the equilibrium reaction achieve this task? Well, to have more NO2, that means we have to make more NO2. To make more NO2, we need more reactants to make the NO2. So there will be more reaction going this way so that we have more production of the NO2. And this is the reason why when we say removal of NO2, it will shift to the left. Okay? To adjust itself to go back to equilibrium. And now we can look at the third one. Now the third one requires some thinking. And it has to be taken, you have to think about this very slowly and use your own logic. And I'm going to walk this slowly uh, with you right now. Increasing volume. How would increasing volume affect the equilibrium? First, when we say increasing volume, it's going to change the pressure because when we increase the volume, the pressure is going to decrease. And it is only going to be affect, it's going to affect the gas only. If the equilibrium has something else other than gases, it is not going to have any major effect. And we were not going to, we're not going to expect any major shift of the reaction. So when we have increasing volume or decreasing volume, changing pressure, we have to pay ex extra attention on the state of the chemicals. Are they gases or are they not? We will only look at gases if there's a change of volume or pressure. Now, increasing volume. Increasing volume would cause the pressure to decrease. That is what happened at this point. And now, to go back to equilibrium, what needs to be done? Well, the volume is is set, is increased, but we could maybe change the pressure. Okay, So this is what could be done in this stage. So again, increased volume would mean the pressure goes down. To go back to equilibrium means the pressure has to go up again in order to go back to equilibrium. And now here comes a question. Which way would it shift to make more or to have more pressure? Now think about what we learned in the gas chapter, the topic on gases. Pressure is exerted by the gas molecules because they collide on the container walls. And if you have more gases, there will be more pressure. If you have less gases, you, you will have less pressure. And now we would like to increase the pressure to go back to equilibrium. So we would like to have more gas molecules. So now we will look at the chemical equation to see which side of the equation has more gas molecules. And how can we tell? We can simply look at the coefficient. On the reactant side, we have two moles of the NO2. On the product side, we have one mole of N2O4. So it becomes an extremely easy task to find out which side has more gas molecules. It's going to be the reactant side. So if, if the increased volume, if, if the volume is being increased, pressure gets lower, and to go back to equilibrium, you have to increase the pressure, so to increase pressure, we have to have more gas molecules. To have more gas molecules, we will mean, it, it means that we have to shift the equilibrium to the left so that we mix more of the gas molecules to increase the pressure. 
So I hope that you understand what I was just talking about and go through these several steps of the logic so that you understand what needs to be done to achieve the equilibrium. Okay? At the very beginning, it may take some time. So I encourage you that if you don't understand what I was just talking about, maybe you can rewind and listen to, to my explanation again. So make sure you understand the relationship between the volume, pressure, the number of gas molecules, and the shifting direction. Okay? Now, let me just add a little bit here. So if we, if we have a change in volume or pressure, we will have a shift in this particular case. Would it be valid on every single case? It depends. In here, we have a difference in the number of moles of gas molecules. So we know which way would it shift. If the number of moles of gas molecules are going to be the same on both sides of the equation, in that particular case, there would be no shift of the equilibrium. The reason? is because shifting either way will not change the pressure. The amount of gas particles remains the same. And this is the reason why we have to be very careful with what is the gas in the reaction and what are the coefficients of the gas molecules. And this is what we need to be very careful on the increased volume, a change of volume or a change of pressure.